Welcome to the day two video, which covers section 5.7, transformations with quadratic functions notes. Today we are going to graph quadratic functions in vertex form. So yesterday we did standard form, today we're going to do vertex form. As you notice at the top, this section is no calculator, so I'm expecting you on these notes and then on your classwork to not use a calculator. So first thing is I want to review the form that we learned before. We learned standard form. So standard form is the form that's y equals ax squared plus bx add c. And remember that this is a quadratic because we have an x squared. Today we're doing vertex form. So this is the new one. Vertex form is a, y equals ax subtract h squared add k. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be graphing. The reason that this form is so nice is because h comma k is our vertex. Our axis of symmetry, remember, is a vertical line that cuts the parabola in half. So that's x equal, equals h. It just comes right from the vertex. So right away to find the vertex and the axis of symmetry, we don't have to calculate anything. We can find it just by looking at the equation. The y-intercept is the 0, comma, some number, some number for y. Remember that you have to substitute 0 in for x in order to find that y. And then we have to fill out a table of values and graph it. So I thought we would just start off with an example. So example 1. First thing, we need to find the vertex. Remember that these two numbers are the vertex. Here's the part that's a little tricky. Is In the original equation, we have subtract h, minus h. So rather than the vertex being negative 3, it's going to be positive 3. But then we have plus k. So that's just going to be plus negative 2. So our vertex is 3, negative 2. So you want to switch the first sign, keep the second sign. And we've seen that before, um, particularly with absolute value. So switch and then keep. Our axis of symmetry, remember, just goes with the vertex. It's x equals... Then our x-coordinate is 3, so it's x equals 3. Our y-intercept is when x is 0, so we need to substitute in 0. So I get y equals 0 subtract 3 squared subtract 2. 0 subtract 3 is negative 3, so I have negative 3 squared subtract 2, which is 9 subtract 2. So my y-intercept is 0 subtract 7. Now I need to fill out a table of values. I need to make sure that my vertex goes in the middle. So down to, up to. Okay, if I substitute in 4, I have 4 subtract 3 squared subtract 2. 4 subtract 3 is just 1. 1 squared is 1, so I have 1 subtract 2, so this is negative 1. Okay, if I substitute in 2, I should get the same number. So I'm going to erase this. If I substitute in 2, I have 2 subtract 3 squared subtract 2. 2 subtract 3 is negative 1, so I have negative 1 squared subtract 2. Remember that negative 1 is just positive 1, and 1 subtract 2 is negative 1 again. And it's good, these match. They should match because a parabola is symmetric. I need to substitute in 5 and 1, so I'm going to do that over to the left. So 5 subtract 3 squared subtract 2. 5 subtract 3 is 2 squared subtract 2, so 4 subtract 2 is 2. And then I have 1 subtract 3 squared subtract 2. Again, this is 4 subtract 2, which is 2, which is good. These should match again. So that's good because the parabola is symmetric. And now I'm ready to graph. I'm going to start by graphing the axis of symmetry, so x equals 3. My vertex is 3, negative 2, and then I have 4, negative 1, and 5, 2, and then I also have 2, negative 1, 1, 2, and then I also have my y-intercept. I'm going to graph that because it fits on the graph, which is 0, 7. Okay, I want to ask myself, does this make sense? Does it make sense that the graph is opening up? Well, I need to look at what's in front of the parentheses. 
What's in front of my x? There's nothing written, so that's understood to be a 1. Positive number, so my graph should be opening up, which it is, so that's good. Last thing I need is the domain and range. Domain is all the values that x can take on. As I go left, right, as I go left, x is getting smaller. As I go right, x is getting bigger. So do my, my domain is all real numbers. My range, as I go up, y is getting bigger. As I go down, y is getting smaller, but it stops. It stops at this point right here, where, where y equals negative 2. So y starts at negative 2, and it gets bigger. So my range is y is greater than or equal to negative 2. Okay, so we're going to do one more example together, and then you are going to do one on your own. So if you would flip the page, please. Here's example two. It's very similar to what we just did. So let's start by identifying the vertex. Remember that the vertex goes with these two numbers, and I want to switch the sign of the first number, keep the sign of the second number. So my vertex is going to be negative 1, comma, negative 2. Remember that the axis of symmetry is always an equation. It's vertical, so it's x equals, and then in my vertex I look, so x equals negative 1 y-intercept is going to be 0, comma, some number. Remember that to find that number, I need to substitute in 0. So I get 0.25 multiplied by 0 plus 1 squared subtract 2. 0 plus 1 squared is just 1. 1 squared is 1. So I get 0.25 subtract 2, which is negative 1.75. So that's my y-intercept. Now I need to make my table. Remember that my vertex is going to go in the middle. Less two values and up two values. I already substituted in 0 and I got negative 1.75. Remember that a parabola is symmetric, so negative 1.75 is going to go on the other side of the parabola as well. Now I need to substitute in 1. So I get 0.25 multiplied by 1 add 1 is 2, 2 squared is 4. Okay, 0.25, that's 1 fourth. 1 fourth multiplied by 4 is just 1, so I get 1 subtract 2, which is negative 1. My symmetry of a parabola, 3 should be the same thing, it's also going to be negative 1. And now I'm ready to graph. I'm going to start by graphing my axis of symmetry. My x equals negative 1. Remember, this is just a line that cuts the parabola into two symmetric parts. And now I'm going to graph. So my vertex is negative 1, negative 2, which goes right here. And then I have 0, negative 1.75. So that negative 1.75 is right above negative 2. Um, sorry, I'm having a little bit of difficulty doing this accurately. And then here's the other side. And then I have... Sorry, I'm going to try one more time. And then I have 1, negative 1. And I have negative 3, negative 1. Now I'm ready to graph. Sorry, yours should look much more accurate than mine, but it's difficult to do this on an iPad. Okay, and again, does it make sense that my parabola is opening up? Well, I have 0 0.25 in front of the x. Positive, so my graph should be opening up, so that's good. Okay, domain and range. Domain is the values that x can take on. This is going to be all real numbers. As I go left, x is getting smaller, my graph is continuing. As I go right, x is getting bigger, my graph is continuing. So that's how I get all real numbers. And now the range. As I go up, y is increasing, my graph goes that way. So y is going to go to positive infinity. As I go down, my graph continues that way, but it stops at a certain point. It stops at this point right here. So this is the lowest point that y can be, which I'm, I can see in the table as well. The, lowest point that y can be is negative 2, and then it gets bigger. So my range is y is greater than or equal to negative 2. It starts at negative 2, and it gets bigger. 
So now that we've done two examples together, you have one to do on your own. In this video, we covered graphing in vertex form. So now you know standard form and vertex form. So you need to graph the given equation and identify the domain and range. As we did in the first two examples, make sure that you find the vertex, make sure that you find the axis of symmetry, and then make sure that you have an xy chart. And identify the domain and range. You have a negative 2 in front of the x, so just know that your graph should be opening down. So if in the end you get a graph that's opening up, then you probably did something wrong. We will be checking this when you come to class tomorrow. Good luck.